Hi, I'm Mike from Lakeshore 3D. This video is about the Xtool M1 laser. This video will cover how the M1 positions the laser head, how to clean the sensors, what the QX14 errors mean, and what causes the laser to drop out of the laser module. They're all related to regular maintenance, and once you understand how the M1 works, you'll be able to keep your laser running smoothly and fix it if the laser module's dropped out. Stick around. Let's look inside the M1. Always ensure the machine is turned off when manually moving the laser module. Not only will it not move if the power is on, but forcing it to move will risk damaging the motors. This is the laser head. There are three axes of travel. The X axis travels from side to side. The Y axis travels from front to back and the z-axis moves internally and raises and lowers the laser to focus the laser beam. The M1 uses stepper motors to move the laser module. The x-axis motor is on the right side of the gantry. The y-axis is in the back corner by the silver coupler. And the z-axis focus motor is inside the back bottom of the laser module. This part that the laser moves on is often referred to as the gantry. The laser moves on the gantry in the x-axis and the entire gantry moves on the y-axis. Let's take apart the M1 laser module. You'll need to do this to clean the laser module which is often the cause of the QX14-3 error. The QX14-1, 2, and 3 errors are simply the machine telling you it's having a problem detecting the position of the sensor. It could be a hardware problem, but it's usually just a matter of cleaning the sensor. First turn off the M1 and move the laser head for better access. Remove the four screws that hold the cover on the laser head. I've already removed mine. My cover fits snugly so I don't even put the screws back in. You might have to pull gently to lift up the cover if it's a snug fit. Now remove the three screws from the fan. To save time on this video, I've already removed mine. Take note of the orientation of the fan. This side goes up. If you get it wrong, you'll suck soot up from below the laser instead of blowing it away. Before we get into how to clean the laser head or why the laser drops out, we need to understand how the laser works. First, we're going to lift the fan out of the way. If you understand how it works, you'll understand what you're cleaning and the importance of cleaning it. There are three photoelectric sensors in the M1, one for each axis. They're U-shaped, but on some newer M1s, these might look a bit different, as I believe they're being replaced with a non-photo Hall Effect sensor that wouldn't need cleaning. This sensor is for the X-axis, or left to right motion. A beam of light is sent from one side of the sensor to the other. When that beam is broken by the photo interrupter, this little peg over here, the machine knows that the laser head is at the zero or home position for that axis. I've placed a piece of tape over the photo interrupter so you can see it easier. The motors that move the laser around don't know where they're positioned. The motors just move a certain amount when told to do so, so these sensors help tell the machine when they're at the zero position. That's why you'll see the laser head move to the back corner position before doing anything. It's resetting the 0, 0, X, Y position. Basically, the machine will tell the motor to move the laser towards zero until the photo sensor detects it's there. Then it tells the laser to move a certain amount to the right, for example. These sensors need to be cleaned from time to time. If you receive an error for a reset failure, you'll get a QX14-1, QX14-2, or QX14-3 error code. These correspond to each of the X, Y, and Z axis in that order. The error is simply the machine saying it can't detect the position of the laser. Lifting up the circuit board, 
we can see the z-axis sensor here. When the laser module travels up, one of the cooling fins on the laser heat sink blocks the photo sensor, which tells the machine the laser is all the way up to the top or at the zero position. This is the most common cause of the laser module dropping out, the QX14-3 error. But there is always a slight chance that a hardware problem is causing the error. When the M1 needs to focus, it raises the laser head until the sensor is blocked, which tells it that it's at the zero position. It will then lower it a set amount to focus. If the sensor is blocked by soot, the machine could think the laser head is at the top when it isn't. Each time the machine needs to lower the laser module to focus, it ends up lowering it further and further than it should, and eventually it comes off the motor gear and drops out the bottom. In the description of this video are links to the Xtool support articles on cleaning and replacing the laser module. You probably don't have to replace the laser module, so skip to the 220 mark in that video to see how to reset the laser module. More on that in a minute. We simply want to clean any soot and debris from inside the laser head. You need, may need to lightly brush or vacuum depending on how dirty it is. Make sure you get the cooling fin that meshes with the z-axis sensor. A little blast of canned air doesn't hurt either. Lastly, clean the photo sensors with alcohol and a cotton swab. You might want to use a toothpick to get into the groove of the sensor and then reinstall the circuit board. Be extremely careful with the ribbon cable. If you've pulled it out too far, you may have to tuck this ribbon cable back in. Reinstall the fan and its three screws. Ensure that the fan is positioned like this when rotating the fan. Reinstall the cover. My cover fits tight enough that I don't have to use the screws. The little recessed part here goes towards the front. Reinstall the four screws if you desire. If your laser module is dropped out, you'll need to reset it. Once you've cleaned the sensors and reassembled the laser, turn on the power to the M1. Download the software from the Xtool website. The link to the software is in the description of the how to replace the laser module for M1 Xtool video, link in my description. First, run the downloaded program. The software hasn't been translated to English yet, so you'll need to click this button while holding the laser up to reset the laser module. That will reset the laser module and draw it up into the laser head. You'll need to hold up on it so the gears can grab it. Just in case you ever need it, this button will eject the laser module. I've contacted Xtool about making the error dialog a little easier to understand and about translating the maintenance software. Hopefully my suggestions will make their way into the software. There is not currently an app for the Mac, so you'll have to use a Windows machine to reset that. A laser engraver is a machine. It has moving parts and it burns things. There's going to be soot and particulates. It's going to get dirty. It's just the nature of it. You can reduce the amount of soot buildup in the machine by using an external duct fan. That's something you might want to look into. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments. I don't have all the answers, but I'll help you find them. Oh, and like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Don't forget, keep making.